Well, it's very early in the season, but we have the top two involved today, and it could have a lot of significance down the road a ways. We're moments away from the kickoff at the Etihad Stadium, and it's live. This is the Etihad Stadium, where Manchester City have had so much success in recent seasons. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Premier League football for you, very shortly. Manchester City against Wolverhampton Wanderers. I think if we get a, a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Manchester City's lineup today. Ricardo Pereira plays alongside Gian Cancelo in defence. Kevin De Bruyne starts looking to continue his great form in midfield. And they just go with the one striker up front. Can put them in front here. Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. Volley's for goal. That was saved and the goalkeeper quite happy with a shot like that to deal with. The time to go to Anfield where Alan mcanally has got some news for us. It's a goal for Liverpool. Six minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Goalkeeper is there for him and he's played it to him. Guided through. Takes the shot on. Hasn't held it, the goalkeeper. Made the play well to intercept. One pass away from being a great move. Joao Cancelo. They're a good watch, aren't they, Alan? We're expecting plenty today in terms of goals from Manchester City. They are the entertainers in this division. They've been really good, really potent in front of goal. Awa being challenged here. Usem Awa Davis. Promising forward play from them again. Referee says play on. And it wasn't a good... Well, it is a free kick. And uh, they're excited by this. It's a real chance to at least work the goalkeeper. I think he fancies this, you know. He's so capable. And then it goes. And he's put them in front with a terrific effort. Oh, he's so inventive with those three kicks, Martin. Wonderful. Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. And the pass not completed, really. Oh, great chance! That's the right kind of football dive to turn the shot away. Corner's taken. Good defensive clearance there. Ricardo Pereira. Shots on here. He's put his body on the line there. Here's Laporte. De Bruyne. Bernardo Silva. He's got it back again from his teammate. Stolen. The... Sterling! That's a good stop from the goalkeeper. I don't know if they can turn this around. Their creative players have not been at the party really today. Not been able to create the chances they normally do. Good vision here. Well, the player's broken down now. Olmo. Well, here's a chance. The press worked. Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. A guiding the pass through. Real chance. The pressure has told, and they've caved in, really. Well, we all knew what was coming. Certainly the opposition did, but they could do nothing to stop it happening out there. It's almost as if they drew them onto them so that there was space to break into. 
and how well they use that space and that score he's just got too much pace for those defenders you can see it. just widen the margin here to 2-0 Now Manchester City have not got out of second gear so far. No, too many misplaced passes, poor control, just not like them. Clever pass in behind by De Bruyne. Straightforward work for the goalkeeper. The Made sure the pass wasn't completed. There will be a minimum now Bernardo Silva. Sterling! Cross has got a chance to cut the deficit here. Half time now, and 2 0 is the score at the break. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. Awa. Trent Alexander Arnold. Usem Awa. Jonathan Tarr, Davis. Well, I didn't foresee this. Manchester City, second best by some distance. The fans certainly didn't predict that. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. Manchester City, they'll be facing West Bromwich Albion away from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Going forward with real purpose now. Super block. We're hearing about a goal at the Vitality Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Arsenal. 56 minutes played. 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Well defended. Not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Shreds it through. Sterling! And he's taken the chance beautifully. And that's an absolutely unstoppable shot. And you can see the goalkeeper well away from it. Oh, it's a great finish to take the keeper at the equation. I mean, the keeper had no chance there. Bottom corner. Off we go again, 2-1. Substitute for Manchester City. Awa. Danny Olmo. Oh, it could be on. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Corner played in. He's got his fist to it, looking for goal now. Well, if that had gone in just a second ago, I think that would have been game over. The keeper's kept them in it. After this, the visiting team are involved in this fixture in the Premier League, and you can join us on AA Sports for that match. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Ricardo Pereira. And this is a good opportunity to put the ball into the penalty area now. He has cleared it well. The word has come through that Real Madrid have completed the deal for a player they've been chasing for a while. Opportunity now! Oh, that's great defending! Surely he must score! It's with De Bruyne. Oh, those City fans seem to all stand as one, urging on their players. Well, they're going to sacrifice Raheem Sterling to try and improve the result, but Sterling's performance has been good. Well, he scored himself a goal, and uh, you can't afford to take off players when you lose in a game like that, so a bit of a mystery, this one. And there was danger, but he's cleared it. Hot news from Anfield, Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Liverpool. This could be it. Must be a goal! And such quality in the build-up, and a brilliant finish. A wonderful goal. Well, they've extended their lead in this game. And the gap between these two sides is reflected now on the scoreline. Well, he's shown plenty of pace, composure in the finishing. It's a fine individual goal.
the goal wherever you look at it it was very well taken well I know this manager has been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape and boy is it getting results out there 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game words of wisdom as usual from Alan McAnally a bit shorter than he wanted confirmation that Liverpool did score in that game and they are winning by two goals to nil five more minutes here able to make the interception so not much time left at all what does this mean Alan for their next game well, Manchester City go up against West Bromwich Albion. Well, nobody's played well for them. They've got to do better. De Bruyne, cross aimed at Aguero. Excellent header, millimetres away from scoring, really. I think he thought he had scored, and maybe the keeper did too. That will be two added minutes. There will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Danny Olmo. It's Bernardo Silva. They've been trying to do this, get the ball over the top. Keeper pushes it away from the goal. Manchester City get a corner. That is the final whistle. Well, that's it, they're on a decent run at the moment at this stage of the season. And another win to extend that run. For the next game to come around, that's what it's like when you're picking up three points. It'll be no different. It's a very poor result for the hosts, Alan, isn't it? Beaten here, despite this uh, record that they brought into the game of getting goals on a regular basis. Yeah, they weren't really as sharp as they have been for the majority of this season and uh, let themselves down in front of goal.